All right, guys, as you know, over the winter, we installed a forward scan. And it's a sonar that points forward of the boat. I think it's up to about 30 meters in front of the boat, where it should give you more or less a good idea of the depth in front of the boat. So right now, um, we've got a little channel that we're coming towards, uh, just at the northern tip of Moya there. And the channel uh, should be sort of between three and four meters deep. Come on. This little guy here. You can see it's four meters there. Yeah, so we should be about four meters all the way through. So what we're gonna do is put the forward scan side by side with the chart as well, and then run through the channel and see how well it's working. This should be a really good test just starting to come into the channel now and the really good thing about the B&G chart plotter probably the other plotters have it as well is you can do a side-by-side -side view so now we can see the forward scan on the right side and that's looking 15 meters forward and then we've got the chart on the left side we'll just get rid of the autopilot so we've got a bit more space and then that should give us sort of an idea of what the channel is going to look like isn't fully correlating with the forward scan there but no it's starting to come there we go the depth on the bottom right is 4.3 but the forward scan showing 5.1 so I may have some calibration to do there It is actually showing a pretty accurate picture in front. Just going through this channel. What do you need to go through at that speed, really? You can see here that it's starting to drop off on the forward scan now, starting to get a bit deeper. And the depth is more or less correlated on both sides, so it, it does look like it's actually working pretty goddamn well. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, when we installed the forward scan, we were very meticulous on trying to get it as level as we could with the boat. And when you configure the forward scan, there is an offset that you can set at how many degrees um, angle that you've got on the forward scan. Uh, I think it's minus three degrees on mine at the moment, so it's pretty, pretty accurate. But I've been fine-tuning it when we're going through channels uh, so that the depth, both of the depths correlate with each other. And that seems to be working pretty well. Right now, yeah, it's reading four meters on the forward scan, four meters on the depth sounder, the transducer that's going straight down. So I'm super happy with this, actually. It's gonna really help us out when we go into channels that are not that well marked or that well charted. So yeah, successful install, I think. Overall, the forward scan transducer has been a really good addition to our boat. There are two things to be aware of, though. The first being that if your cable run from the forward scan transducer to your chart plotter is over 12 meters, you may need to buy a extra sonar hub, which can add a significant cost to your installation. The second thing is that it must be installed over 60 centimeters away from any existing transducers. If you're looking at this setup, I hope this video has helped you with your decision. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop a comment. Thanks then, bye now.